This is what happened on my first day at drone school. This beast here weighs 100 kilograms and can basically cut you in half if you get too close, but I won't be flying this farming drone just yet. So naturally we started in a classroom learning about regulations and I found out that my home address is in restricted airspace and that made me kind of upset. Interestingly though, everyone in the course but me was a farmer and we learned how to read weather charts, but I did take a screenshot of the weather and asked ChatGPT just to give me a dumb version. Why do the hard work? We headed out to a turf field for my first try at ever flying a drone and I had some mishaps. This is my first day of flying drones. Windy as fuck day. We were given Mavic Pros with no video camera control. We needed to learn the basics and pass the eight flight tasks. I was in high spirits, but Firstly, we had to do a drone inspection and lots of box ticking for safety. Just let me launch this bad boy. Then like the annoying Bluetooth, I had to sync the drone to the controller. See the clouds? Look at them move. That's the wind I had to deal with. And I had a 30 meter by 30 meter flight perimeter to stay within and a 120 meter height limit. And any damage I caused, I was responsible for. So let's launch. I love the ASMR whirling noises the drone makes. The flashing green light is the back of the drone and we had to keep a field of vision to that green light. First task was to fly around these yellow cones you can see. If you think this is easy or like a video game, it kind of is but it kind of really isn't and it is scarier than what it looks. There is real world consequences for making mistakes with your drone. During the classroom presentation, we were shown a gory picture of a young child who lost his eye to a drone accident. So it was great that the field was empty and no one was around. It was just me, the teacher and three farmers. Here's the instructor. I passed the first task, A+. Now it was time for the task of directional squares. This was flying the drone from the head and its back and to its side. I was confused at first. Wait, that actually is confusing. I thought he meant drifting. For this, the controls were inverted. Left was right and right was left. I think I might still be confused. And I suck. Time to try again. Hmm, it's kind of like driving a car on its side, is it? I think I get it now. Time to practice, but I was starting to really worry about birds that I saw nearby. Apparently ospreys attack drones and destroy them, and if a bird of prey comes after us, we need to fly and outmaneuver the bird, or lose our drone to it. But if a magpie attacks, we are to fly higher than the magpie bird, as magpies attack by dive bombing, and crows, which I have a lot at home, apparently they are just too lazy to care about your drone. I practiced and passed, but I wasn't steady enough in my movement. The wind was really starting to get annoying and throw my drone around like turbulence on an aeroplane. So the teacher came over and explained how I could better manage the drone in the wind with lots of inertia talk. Flying with gentler movements on the pad and better dexterity was what I needed. Can you hear the wind though? It's literally blowing my drone all over the place. First time ever flying a drone and I get stuck in a cyclone. So I wondered what if I flew the drone closer to the ground, would this help with the wind? But there was a critical problem in flying like this and passing the course. Flying this low required me to lay on the ground because the teacher's keystone rule was drones must always be above the operator's head. Shame, I wanted to fly it through my legs by the end of the day. So I was really starting to get the hang of ground flying by lying on the ground until the drone wanted to come take a closer look at me, maybe because I was lying down, like why was I? Probably never seen it before. Good thing the teacher didn't see this happen though. Alright, maybe I'll stand up for this task. The next task was super fun. Without looking at the controller, I had to fly from 2 meters to 10 meters by guessing the height by sight. And to make it harder, I had to do a 1-360 rotation during that incline and then on the decline too. 
Whoa, it's my first day, bro. But I did love it, and I did achieve it. And now the battery was dying. Darn it. Time to do one more, then manually bring it home. There was no automatic mode allowed during training school. I had a new battery and I had fresh legs, time to practice it again, 2 meters to 12 meters now. It's actually amazing how high they can go, and 120 meters by law, 45 meters if you're near an airport, that is so high. So the 45 meter rule near an airport, my drone is not under 245 grams, which is what you need to fly near an airport. So I guess I need to put my drone on a diet before I take mine for a spin at home. I'm doing this by switching around the batteries. The drone is getting close again. I really don't know why I keep moving it towards me. It's like it wants to attack me or I want to attack myself. I just can't imagine these in an active war zone with just even seeing these this close. Shish. Oh wait, it wants to attack me again. I think I just like the risk living on the edge. I'm definitely going southpaw though on my controller when I get home. The school drones here are set to default too, which is kind of like a default noob style. Let's just get southpaw everybody. And I swear I didn't cause it, but my drone had an error. Obstacle alert, obstacle alert, it kept saying. So the teacher came over to fix it, something to do with the vision sensors, but he also put it into sports mode for me. Wow, I love this sports mode. Yeah, it's good, eh? Yeah. How much longer do we have left? Well, one more battery after this. Okay. I love sports mode. It's more sensitive, but you have greater flexibility in your drone's movement. Oh yes, I can roll. Time to roll and drift. Dang, I only have one more battery. I have already been through seven of them and I have two tests left. Next test though was to learn to drift and roll on corners. Let's figure out how to do this eight. It's not as easy as what it sounds or looks on like other things because it's really hard to see and make the loops small from a distance and I almost hit myself again, the loops were too big. And the battery is dying, but I scored a bonus battery as I'm the teacher's pet after all, so I did my figure eight and took it out for one last spin, trying to fly the drone directly over my phone, but I really didn't get close enough. So I passed the day. Yay me. Picking up code after drone flying. Not very fun. The worst part. Flying drones in this wind was crazy.